Hello everyone, welcome to Hacker Heap. In this video, we will solve the problem we need to find research trees. Before we start, please do like and subscribe to the channel Hacker Heap. So let's look into the problem. Given n, how many structural unique bind research trees that store values 1 to n? So if the input is 3, these are the unique bind research trees that can be created. That is 5. That's what we need to do. So let's start from the base case. Let's say if n is equal to 0, we will be 1. If n is equal to 1, only one unique tree that can be built, that is with 1. If n is equal to 2, we can build 1 as a root and 2 or 2 as a root and 1. Two unique binary trees if n is equal to 2. And if n is equal to 3, we can build 1 as a root and 2 and 3. And these two can be performed in two different ways. So this can be built 1, 3 and 2. If you take 2 as a root, it can be built in one way. And if you take 3 as a root, that also can be built in two different ways. These two can be built with two different ways. Total, it will be 2 plus 2 plus 1 for each. If root is equal to 3, root is equal to 1 and root is equal to 2 is equal to 5. But if you look into the pattern here, so if you look into the pattern here, if there is one node, it can be built one. If there is two nodes, it can be built in two different ways. Now we calculated with the three, it can be built in five different ways. So what we can do is, let's say if n is equal to seven, we can start by the root node and then go from there. So we need to do a multiplication of n minus one. Let's say if n is equal to four. Once we place the root, we need to distribute three different nodes, two, three, and four. And as we saw, two, three, and four can be distributed in five different ways. So we need to have the product of the previous functions. So if we can store in some array, like how many nodes can be filled, like if there are zero nodes, it can be one. If there is one node, and we can build one unique binary tree. If there are two nodes, we can build two unique binary tree trees. And if there are three nodes, we found out that we can build five unique binary trees. So similarly, when four comes, once we placed one as a root, we know how many can we build with four different nodes. So we can get this and add it to that. Similarly, we will replace with node 2 and we will again add it to that. So it's a multiplication of the previous nodes. So we will use dynamic programming approach where we will take an array of n plus 1 and we will calculate with each node how many unique binary trees can be generated and we will place in the array and Go, all we need to do is we need to calculate from 0 to n and we will return the nth element once we are done with it. Let's go ahead and look into how we can actually code this out. So let's define an array count with the size n plus 1. Now we know two things. If the nodes are 0, we would return one unique binary tree. So the count of 0 would be 1. And if we have only one node, we will, we can only generate one unique binary tree, binary search tree. So we got both of this. Now we can go from 2. Less than. And we need to start from the 0th and count. Let's say we place 1 in the root. We are left with one node and we need to find out how many unique binary search trees can be built with one node. Since we already have 
count of one is equal to one we would add that to the current one so let's go from this is i for int j is equal to zero j less than or equal to two j plus plus all we need we need to fill up the current index if there are two nodes given if n is equal to two how many nodes how many unique binary search trees can be built that is the sum of count of two plus count of sorry what i meant is j count of i star count of j minus i minus one so that will give us the count and all we need to do is return count of n this is equal to i i minus j my bad this is j this is i my bad it should be minus one yeah it went to so let's look into what happened here so what we are doing is let's say if the node is one we will have one unique we will have one unique binary search tree so let's take the array n plus one for zero one and one now let's say if the n is equal to two we come here and count of i which is count of two should be count of two initially it's zero zero plus count of z j is zero which is this one plus count of z zero star count of i minus j minus one which is zero which is two so we got it right so we will have two here now we increment j j would be one and j should be less than or equal to minus one which in this case is true so we will come down again and sorry it's zero plus one this is one at this point now again we are doing one plus count of i is one one plus j is count of one which is one one star count of i minus j minus one which is one so it becomes two so now we got three what happens is now we are here we need to fill count of two which we will fill that's right and count of three what happens is count of three initially zero plus one star i minus j minus one which is two which gives us two so count of three would be two initially then we increase the j index now it becomes two plus one star count of i minus j minus one three minus one minus one which results in one count of one is again one which is which becomes three now this will become three again the loop continues and jth index will be this so we come here with one plus jth index two star i minus j minus one zero one we will end up with five not this one we will update this with five that's how we know we can create five unique binary search trees i hope it's clear please do like and subscribe to the channel thank you